Gunnar Romney, you sneaky dog, catching a touchdown in a game nobody thought you were going to play in. Walk me through the recovery process of getting back into that game against Utah and how you were feeling. Yeah, no, it was it was crazy. I didn't really think I was going to be able to play either at the beginning of last week. Um, you know, I got back on Sunday, even even up until Monday and Tuesday, I, I couldn't even walk. I was on crutches. It hurt to put any pressure on my leg. But you know, I got an MRI back, and they said, you know, if you play, there's no there's no risk to further damage your knee. It's, it's structurally sound. So all, all I had to really do was deal with the pain, and I wasn't going to miss that Utah game. So hit the recovery hard, and the first time I actually ran all week was in warmups. So it really it was it was if it felt good I was going to play if I felt it, it that it was hurting still then I was just going to you know be a decoy on the sideline but it felt great so I, I got out there and was able to do a little bit to help my team win. That is wild. Your touchdown catch essentially is the game clincher because it puts you at twenty three points. I know you added a field goal later, but Utah only got to seventeen. So uh, in your wildest, did you imagine that you would be catching? The game-winning touchdown de facto against Utah when your week began. No, no, I I, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to play, and it was super sad because I, you know, mm. catching a game-winning touchdown against Utah—that's been a childhood dream of mine. You know, that's something that every kid grows up dreaming about. Um, so I, you know, I was I was super sad at the beginning of the week, and then as it progressed, um, when they told me, you know, I might be able to play, this was on Wednesday or Thursday. You know, that glimmer of hope really. I think it kind of fueled my my recovery. You know, they say something about like mental, you know, all that all that stuff's connected. And so I think that's that's what really got me to be able to play. And so it was, it was awesome. It was a dream come true. How's the pain management right now as you get ready for Arizona State, another team that uh, has some guys used to play against and play with in high school? Yeah, it's doing a lot better this week. You know, the soreness is gone. I'm getting a full week of practice. And so I'm just really trying to, trying to get back into, into shape, really, because I didn't practice at all last week. So I can go against those dudes. You know, Chase Lucas, one of their starting cornerbacks, when I went to high school with him, Chandler High School alums. So I'm looking forward to that matchup, for sure. What type of back and forth has existed between you and Chase, if you don't mind sharing, if at all? Um, very minimal, but, you know, we, we work out together in Arizona. Um, we go down there, and, you know, we've, we've always uh, been competitive. He's a DB, I'm a receiver. So I think we, we both kind of know uh, – so what's what's coming in the competitive competitive nature that this game is going to have? What do you know about Arizona State's defense at this point? So I mean they're a great defense. I think they're ranked top ten in, in total defense so far throughout the year. Um, they've got athletes all across the board. They're they're gonna they're gonna man us up. They're gonna they're gonna try and um, you know be more physical than us. Um, so that's something that that we're gonna have to be prepared for because they're gonna bring that physicality and that athleticism. So I think we have to be ready for that. Now, I know the BYU playbook is getting deeper as Aaron Rodgers progresses as the offensive coordinator. How much of the offense have you really shown through two games against Arizona and Utah? You know, we, we carry a bunch of different packages for every single game where we'll add um, 20 plays for, for every single game that we go into just specifically based for that new team's defense. So... I would say we, we haven't really shown a lot at all, considering that we change our offense almost every single week. So, I mean, you probably see a lot of new stuff going in. Why do you think your offense can be successful against, as you called it, a very good Arizona State defense? Um, you know, I think we have weapons all across the board. Um, like I said, they, they have good athletes, and, and you know, they're going to want to man us up and, and match up. But I think we, we create some matchup problems just with our sheer depth. You know, we have receivers that can – go make plays all across the board. We have tight ends that can go make plays. We have a great offensive line. We have running backs that can do it all. So I think just our, our depth and our, our sheer no amount of weapons that we have can, can really put some mismatches and, and get, it, get us to an advantage. Now, Gunnar, clearly within the Romney family, there is this power to stay even kill, both you and your brother. You just, you're so calm and collected at all times. How do you spread that message to your teammates coming off what was understandably the emotional high of emotional highs last week, beating Utah and getting an invitation to the Big 12? Yeah, you know, especially here at BYU, I think historically um, there's been sort of a trend where, you know, you win a huge game against a huge opponent and then you kind of have a lull the next week. And so that's something that everybody's addressing. You know, we, we talked about in the receivers room, we talked about being, being like a surfer. 
you know, uh, as soon as they catch their biggest wave, what's the next thing they do is they look for a, a wave even bigger than that. And so that's kind of been the theme throughout this week is looking for an even bigger win and even an even bigger wave. Um, so I think uh, not just my even keeledness, but the I think the team and, and Kalani um, really are, are focusing on, you know, not staying too high. We had a great game, but we're looking forward to this next week. We're going to try and forget about that game and just focus on this next Saturday. Safe to say you're ready to hang 10 on the big wave as it carries into Arizona State? Hopefully. Hopefully we can do that. Be... <laughs> Very good. All right. Let's uh, give you a huge portion of BYU Sports Nation karma for your recovery for the team's performance against Arizona State. We appreciate the time, Gunner. Good luck, man. We'll talk to you soon. Sir, thanks for having me on.